pre-2008, uh, if I can take the liberty of describing India uh, Inc.'s behavior, it was growth at all costs. And then we saw uh, the house of debt come apart. In the last few years, I think a lot of companies are still finding their uh, way around. What is the mantra of corporate India? Is it growth at reasonable cost today? Or do you think we are back in boom boom times? So I think, uh, you know, uh, obviously there's an India story and there's a global story, right? If you look at 2008, it was more driven by what was happening in China. China had a fantastic decade of growth and the world was riding onto that and uh, the banking system in the US had also gone through whatever they did, right? So you had a different scenario. Then you had a China slowdown. I think now obviously the agenda to some extent is being set by India clearly, but I think it's also very important to watch what's happening in China because you can't ignore China and if China grows at 5-6% or 5%, that's like India growing at 20%, you know, so, so to that extent it has a huge impact, right? So uh, to me the India story is strong, but we cannot ignore the fact that uh, the world is slowing down a bit. There's still a fair amount of concern, whether it's the US, whether it's Europe. Uh, inflation seems to be under control, but, uh, uh, you know, there's obviously only that much countries can spend. You know, soon after COVID, a lot of countries were spending a lot of money, but now they are a bit more circumspect about it. So I do see uh, growth to be a bit more of a challenge now, uh, but I think the India story is strong. So if you are a company which is impacted only by the uh, economic situation in India, then you're in a good position. If you're linked to what's happening globally, and most companies are, then you would be a bit more circumspect. Uh, well, you could take a look at the BSC 500 and uh, figure out that most companies are uh, linked to what is happening globally. And uh, viewers and the audience here, take note of the fact that uh, China and the US uh, are constants when it comes to India's economy. And if you focus only on the stock market, then definitely what happens in terms of the US, a flood of liquidity or it being bought back.